why don't we move on to uh, one of our more tech related topics today so this was posted by matey on the forums the original article here is from tech power up but apparently the original leak is from the chip hell forums uh let's have a quick boo at this here oh would you look at that a this is pretty believable looking amd ryzen threadripper pro we haven't seen that before ladies and gentlemen threadripper pro 3995wx and uh, the first note on this topic is, yes, it's another CPU topic, courtesy of Anthony. Hi, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Anthony. Why don't you walk us through it, I Luke? I just prefer GPU topics, okay? I know you want to talk about this. I know you want to. Hit me up. Yeah, I, uh, there's, there's, there's four processors. One of them has 64 cores, 128 threads. That's fun. None of you are going to buy it. That's cool. Um, it is called a 3995WX. There's a 3975WX, 32 cores, 64 threads, 3.5 gigahertz base. That's really fast for that many cores. Uh, 4.2 gigahertz boost, 144 megabytes of cache. 3955WX, 16 cores, 32 threads, 3.9 gigahertz base. Okay, I'm bored. 4.3 gigahertz You made boost. your point. Yeah. You made your point. Okay, so the main, the main thing here is that the difference between the existing Epic processors, so these are their server chips, and Threadripper is not in the core counts. They've got similar core counts, mm -hmm. but Epic tends to run at a lower clock speed for better power efficiency and has support for eight channel memory as well as up to two terabytes. Is it two or four? I think it might actually be four terabytes of memory for a single chip. Threadripper third gen, by contrast, supports quad channel memory and up to, well, it's not strictly speaking limited to 256 gigs, but in practical terms, it's limited because you can only hook up eight slots to it and you can only get um, unbuffered uh, ECC memory in up to... 32 gig dims so the problem is that epic doesn't have the the the, the bursty like single threaded horses and might not turbo as high and it's not overclockable okay so it's not as good for a high-end workstation and threadripper can't have the memory capacity that some people need like for example when we were working on our pc pro which was intended to be like our mac pro killer machine we ended up going epic because we felt like we were going to get called out if we went threadripper and we were limited to only 256 gigs of ram when the mac pro can have up to 1.5 terabytes we ended up giving up some performance there i mean not so much that it didn't still run circles around the Mac Pro, but we would have definitely rather gone with, you know, uh, uh, a 32 core overclocked Threadripper if we were able to. It is alleged that these will come on a new socket, STWX8, with the 8 instead of uh, STRX4, which is what the current Threadrippers are on, uh, denoting the number of memory channels. And AMD will reportedly position the new chips towards professional studios, designers, engineers, and data scientists. So they will use uh, registered ECC memory, which is available in capacities of up to, I think you can get, can you get 256 gig dims? Can't remember. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to try and find out. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Samsung shows off 256 gig registered dim. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I can't look for that right now. And I... Don't care. Yeah, here's a crucial load reduced dim. Well, I just mean it's one of those. Okay, I don't mean I don't care. I'm curious, but it's like it's one of those things that's like, well, um, I, I'm never gonna buy one. Like I don't, I don't need it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. five twelve, five twelve, no, sixteen by thirty two gigs. I can't tell if this is a kit or if it's um blah 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 module. Oh yeah, no, that looks like. Pro I think you can get up to five hundred and twelve gig modules. It looks like. Registered in memory module. Yeah, don't don't quote me on that. I'm sure the chat's like, um, actually. And so thank you for that very much, guys. So I don't know. I guess this is pretty neat. Um, the original Threadripper will be uh, repositioned to, oh, get this, enthusiast gamers, streamers, and editors. Okay, in fairness, e editing is actually a great use case for these. Our new workstations are Threadripper. And as far as I know, uh, the editing staff is really happy with them as an upgrade for our old 10 core extreme editions. So that's, that's pretty sweet. My girlfriend is looking to upgrade her 
computer because I guess I guess my old 2600K and 780 aren't good enough for streaming anymore. Um, so are you going to upgrade will... then so that she can have a hand-me-down? You should be like, look, hon, this is how, you know what? Like, I wasn't going to upgrade. I didn't want to spend the money, but like, you need a new computer and like, we can't, we can't afford, you know, two new computers at once. So this, this way, you know, I can get the new computer because, you know, uh, I need it for work. And that's how I'm getting, <laughs> right. the, yeah, that's how I'm getting the big fat discount, you know? So I, if I told Linus, look, like I'm, you know, I need this hardware, but like, it's for you. He might not like that, um, you know, or whatever. And then you can have my old ones. It's like kind of like two for one. Nice. You Except think it'll work? She's not that Everything stupid. in this computer is LMGs. She can borrow it. It's fine. I don't oh, actually nice. okay. care. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and that's I mean, chill. It's chill. We don't want it back. If he tries to, if he tries to, if he tries to blame me for uh, not wanting to share with you, that's like totally not a thing. Sweet. Yeah. I mean that does kind of simplify that whole problem. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're basic. You're basically part of the. You're part of the LMG family, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Wait. So now I have to buy a new computer. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> what what just happened? <laughs> I'm suddenly not okay with this. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe uh, you just got played. Maybe in a little bit. We'll see when the new stuff comes out. Then I'll buy the slightly older stuff. Big brain. All right. We got a couple uh, sponsor Speaking messages. Which, my, my phone is starting to get a little old. Is that a, that's a Pixel 2 XL, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you're going to be sniffing around for a phone we're done with soon enough. The problem yeah. is, like, I haven't even... Probably not I want to use the fold, but there's like weird app <laughs> incompatibility issues that have prevented me from daily driving it. So I'm still on the Note 9. Like I cannot That's, come up yeah. with a justification. I'm not going to, I refuse. I am going to wait out this completely ridiculous notch Watch bullet stuff. hole kind of what I'm doing. display thing. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to have a hole in the display. It's so unnecessary and stupid. And people are like, you can turn it off. Well, the issue is that the notch was like sort of turn offable. The bullet hole, the exit wound is not. And the reason, <laughs> the reason is that when you've got the hole like down here and you've got this little sliver of display above it for no reason, because it serves no functional purpose whatsoever. It's this tiny amount of display. So you can have a hole in the display. Why this was a design goal. Why we engineered a solution to this problem. I cannot imagine, but anyway, it means that if you do turn off the notch, so to speak, you get a gigantic forehead that's more five head sized. And the crazy thing is Note 9, okay? Two year old phone, pretty small forehead, has Very like small. an iris scanner, uh, decent amplified speaker in it, uh, front facing camera, basically everything you need. I just, I just, I get, I get angry, Luke. Yeah. I get angry. Yeah, um... My, I would be perfect. I have one weird bug where sometimes when I answer the phone, uh, my screen will not turn on no matter what until the other person hangs up. Super annoying. That's weird. Um, especially annoying when you get called from like scam calls and you press like accept call and the screen just goes black and then you can't hang up until your phone runs out of power or the other side hangs up. That's, oh, that's the only one. two ways I can do it. Um, or the, the, the like force restart thing, but I always forget the combo. So I just have to Google it, but, um, <laughs> then, and the other issues, just minor battery life. But now that I don't go anywhere, uh, it's a bit less of an issue. 